I wanted to make a couple of videos about fuel level uh, in the float bowl and its effects. According to Harley's technical tip number 36, September 1993, if you have the motorcycle upright and running and you connect a length of clear hose to the discharge nipple on the float bowl, if you have one, the correct level of the fuel is as shown in this photograph, which is basically the junction between the float bowl and the body of the carb. Here you can see that I've hooked up this clear line and the fuel level is just a little bit higher than the junction between the body of the carb and the float bowl and that's because the motorcycle is not running. And what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate uh, the various circuits and uh, the effects of these circuits on the fuel level. So let me start the motorcycle. Of course, the enrichener is going to be on, and you'll see what happens with the fuel level at that point. I'll try to use little cards to kind of illustrate what circuit I'm using, because you probably won't be able to hear me if I speak. And in the next video, I'll try to talk a little bit about the uh, effect of uh, fuel level on how the motorcycle is running. So let's start, start up the bike and observe the fuel level in the carburetor. And I forgot to mention that uh, you have to open the drain screw slightly, obviously, for the fuel to end up in this tube right here. So you can see that the enricher circuit uses the most fuel than when the uh, motorcycle is at idle. Uh, it's in, in the right position at the junction between the float bowl and the body of the carb. And uh, as you transition onto the needle, the fuel uh, level of course falls because you're using more fuel, but it's uh, using the most fuel on the enricher circuit.